today I'm going to be doing my skincare routine and if you want to see how I did this then just keep on watching. When you're a teenager you can break out very badly, especially me. Um, I have so many pimples on my t-zone and it is not fun but I'm going to be showing you guys how I keep my skin tamed throughout being a teenager. Being a teenager I think I just lost power, so that's good. Honestly, great. Being a teenager can be very difficult at times, especially with your skin, and I'm sure you guys can relate to that because I can. <laughs> These products have really benefited my skin, so hopefully this video will help you guys into finding the best products for your skin too. To take my makeup off, I use organic coconut oil because I hate makeup wipes. They always burn my eyes and I just don't like them. Before I used coconut oil to take off my makeup, I used the Neutrogena makeup wipes, either the pink package or the blue package. I like both of those, but I really do like this a lot better. Coconut oil makes your makeup come off so easily, like butter. And I bought this a really long time ago and I still have a lot left, if you can see that. Um, but I have used this literally every day to take my makeup off and I absolutely love it and I definitely recommend and you'll be saving a lot of money on makeup wipes because this stuff it may seem expensive it's like $13 I think but if you think about it this will literally last you a year like it's so nice but makeup wipes I go through them so quickly and that's a lot more money going down the drain than using this so I really recommend this I did just get out of the shower and it's like early in the morning right now so I didn't have any makeup to take off for this video but uh, just trust me this stuff is amazing my all-time favorite face scrub is the St. Ives apricot scrub and this stuff works so good <laughs> but yeah it looks like this and you just scrub it into your skin and this stuff is literally like a mini spa at home I love this stuff but yeah I will use this stuff in the shower along with the body scrub version of this and these are like such a dynamic duo, I swear. I have such soft skin after using these, so I recommend. So I've already used these two products today because I took a shower, but now I'm going to be getting into the rest of the skincare that I haven't done today so I can show you guys how they work. So right when I get out of the shower, I use this Noxzema Original Deep Cleansing Cream. I love the feeling that it gives on my face. It's like a tingling sensation and you just know it's working and getting all of the gross dirt and stuff out of your face. And I really, really love this stuff. To use this stuff, I just scoop it out with my hands and gently massage it into my skin to make all of the gross dirt and stuff get out of my face and it works so good. Trust me, I love this stuff. I'm gonna go use this stuff and I'll be right back. <laughs> so now that my face is all nice and cleansed, I'm going to be using a face mask, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a clay one and a sheet one. I personally like sheet masks more because they're way easier to clean up, but this clay face mask I'm gonna show you is amazing. I love it and it smells so good. This is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Anti-Stress Dead Sea Minerals Clay Mask, and that was a mouthful. <laughs> this is good for all skin types and it makes my my face feels so refreshed I love it it's so good so I'm just gonna be putting it on right here because um, I don't really need to get up for this one it does come out blue as you can see and it smells oh my gosh I don't even know how to explain it it just smells so fresh and I love it <laughs> to apply it I just use a mini foundation brush and don't worry guys I only use this for face masks I do not use this for foundation <laughs> so I'm just going to be putting my hair back and now it is safe for me to apply this I'm going to be putting this on all over so I'm just evenly applying this all over my face I've been using this for a while now maybe since like July of this summer and it has not done me wrong and the color is very fun which is just a plus <laughs> and you only have to leave this on for 10 minutes but I personally like leaving it on for a little longer than that <laughs> I totally just stained the shirt with this face mask. Now that I have my face mask all on, I'm just going to be watching some YouTube videos until it's completely dried, so I will be back once it's done. So it's been about 25 minutes and I can barely move my face, so I'm pretty sure that means it's done. So I'm gonna go wash this off and I will be right back. Before I get into this next face mask, I wouldn't use two in one day. 
I'm just showing you guys a variety of things that I would use. So just for the purpose of this video, I will be using two. So for my sheet mask, I'm using this Freeman Beauty Infusion Brightening Sheet Mask. And this is from the same brand as the other mask. And I really, really like this brand for face masks. I haven't tried this exact sheet mask before. So this one is supposed to brighten your face and it has hibiscus and vitamin C. It's going to instantly boost luminosity, correct discoloration, and improve my skin tone. So I'm just going to open this up. It smells like grapefruit. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be, but that's what it smells like. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take this mask out. It is very wet. Um, I can already tell this is going to feel so good on my face. Okay, so I'm going to put it on. This mask looks a little bit big for my face. As you can see, my forehead isn't that big. Um, I am just smoothing this out as good as I can get it. And after I have placed this on my face, I like to take the package and put my hand in it and rub every place that I didn't get with the face mask. So now that my hand is like all gooey, I rub it together, put it everywhere this didn't get, on my eyes, neck, this stuff is supposed to be really good for your skin, so I don't want to make any of this stuff go to waste. So now that this is on, I'm going to be waiting 20 more minutes and watch some more YouTube videos, and I'll be right back. Okay, so it has been 25 minutes, and this is about to fall off because all of the juice has, like, gone into my skin. So I'm just going to take this off. Ooh, I feel like I've been reborn. <laughs> and now, you just have to rub all of this extra serum in to your skin because you don't want it to go to waste because this stuff is supposed to be really good. Now that I have rubbed this into my skin, you can already see my skin is looking very dewy and nice. Now before I moisturize my face, I love to use a lip scrub and this is just a honey lip scrub from Lush and I love this stuff and it tastes really good too. So I just take a little bit on my finger and rub. I can't really talk when I'm doing this, but I just exfoliate my lips and lick it off. <laughs> I always do this before I moisturize because if you do it after, then the sugar is gonna get like all up in your moisturizer and you don't want it to stick to your face. So I always do it before. Now that your lips are nice and soft, you can go in with moisturizer. And this is my all time favorite moisturizer. It is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Illuminating Moisturizer. That's right. <laughs> and it is in the shade Nude Glow and I absolutely adore this stuff. It is so nice on my skin but as you can see, it is completely gone. So I have to get some more, maybe for Christmas, maybe? <laughs> this is very expensive and I don't recommend if you want to look for a good moisturizer that's in a good price range. But if you don't care about splurging on moisturizer, which is what I usually do because I think moisturizer is one of the most important parts of my skincare routine, I would go with this stuff because it is so nice. I love it. Also, the Belief The True Cream Moisturizing Balm is also amazing. And also, this is completely gone. And this is just a little mini size that I got in my Sephora subscription box. And this stuff is awesome as well. But the one that I'm currently using right now is the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. And this stuff is awesome. It's not my absolute favorite, but it also does the job. I just do four dots all over my face and I rub it in. This has a lot of good stuff for getting rid of acne, which is what I need because I have a lot of acne right now and it's not fun. I would try to avoid the eyes because I've gotten this in my eyes before and it stings really bad. So I do not recommend putting that in your eyes. Now that my skin looks extra glowy, now I can go in with this Breath of Fresh Air Toner Water from Lush and this stuff. Oh my gosh, like I would not be complete without this. I drown myself in this, like I absolutely love this stuff. It is like the Mario Badescu rose water, but it is cheaper and I think it works just as well. So I just spray this all over my face and it has a very powerful spray. If you like that, then I definitely recommend this. As you can see, I put a lot on my face and now I just, I don't know how to explain this. I just tap it in. So it's not just like laying on my skin. And finally, the last step of my skincare routine is using this Pure Lease Daily Nip. Daily Nip. Oh my god. And the last step for this skincare routine is using this Pure Lease Daily Lip Nourisher with mango and shea butter. Now that I am done, I can let my hair down 
and that is it for my skincare routine. Now you are ready to walk out the door if you want a bare face or you are ready to put on your makeup for the day and go or you could just go to bed like I'm going to at one o'clock in the afternoon. Why not? <laughs> I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already yet because you would make my heart very happy. Go follow all of my social media. It'll be on the screen right now. And yeah, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!